Time for a much requested unboxing, the iPod Touch. Now I have a couple of them here because we bought various versions for various torture tests. And I have to point out right away that I'm kind of in love with how the packaging has a little colored apple depending on what color you buy. Like we got a red one and a green one and there's a blue one somewhere. I think we already broke it. But we're gonna unbox the black one, the 32 gig model. Now the iPod Touch, I wasn't that into it when it was announced, but we got so much mail from you guys wanting to know if we would unbox it and specifically torture it, I think because it's such a popular kids device that I went ahead. Turns out one of our producers is already in love with it, even though I thought if you have an iPhone or an iPad, why would you want it? Okay, maybe I was wrong. Simple packaging, of course, just comes right open. Oh yeah, there's a sticker here. Ooh. I think the black is probably also called slate, but whatever. It's actually really pretty. It's kind of more of like a charcoal. Ooh, that's nice. It has the matte back which makes the bezel look even smaller on the black one. That's actually pretty fancy. Let's have a look at what's in the box. Pretty straightforward, just your little lightning charging cable. No brick here, no power brick, just the cable. And then of course your ear pods. And then, and I think this is wise, and I think you'll see why when we do our torture test, it comes with a little wrist strap right here. And then watch this, there's this like clever little thing on the back. Bloop. Pop it out like that, slide your wrist strap on, and give it to your kid. <laughs> Cute. All right, let's go through the specs on this little guy. The bad news about the iPod Touch, I think, is that it starts at $299 for the 32 gig model. It's $399 for the 64 gig model, which is kind of what everyone wants since this is basically a media player. It runs iOS 6. It weighs 3.10 ounces. It's just basically really small and light. There's a four inch retina display, just like on the iPhone 5. It is an 1136 by 640 pixel resolution. It has Wi-Fi only, no built-in LTE because that would make it a phone. It has Bluetooth 4.0. There's that lightning dock connector, like I mentioned, the touch loop. There is a five megapixel rear facing camera that takes HD video and a front facing HD camera that takes 1.2 megapixel photos. Performance wise, it gets a dual core A5 processor that replaces the last version's A4. So it should be plenty speedy for playing games, which is another selling point for those who want this for their kids. Now, no question the iPod Touch is a super nice device. The screen is beautiful, the size is wonderful. It's just such a weird placement now. It's $30 cheaper than the iPad mini, and it's not a phone like the iPhone. But apparently I am wrong about these concerns because people are buying iPod Touches in droves. I do admit it's a lot lighter and easier to carry than a tablet, and the battery life is really good too. So all right, maybe you guys are right about this one.